Hi, it's me, Shark FLA, coming to you here from my closet. I recently made a video about eight months ago about how to import custom brushes into Blender's grease pencil, and it seemed like a lot of people got some use from that video. But I got a comment on there about a question that I thought would have been widely answered by now. Nice job, but what I want to do is make a few basic brushes for texture paint other than the default text draw brush. I've looked all over and I can find nothing. Any ideas? Having custom brushes is super important for doing realistic renderings and stylized rendering. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to import custom brushes into Blender's Texture Painter. If you like the content that I make here, please subscribe. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So creating a new brush is pretty simple. There are only a few things that you have to remember to make sure that you get it right. You can go to the drawing program of your choice. I'm going to be using Clip Studio, but you could use whatever you like. The main thing to remember is that unlike other brushes and different programs, you have to make sure that your brushes that you import in Blender use white for the part that they want to show. Think of it kind of like a photo negative. You can create a quick brush like this, just a circle brush with a bit of texture. There are other ways that you can do it, like in the previous tutorial I showed you that you can use long ways brushes, and for some applications those might actually end up being better but this is what I'm gonna use for now. Save them as a PNG with transparency. And now we have our brush saved. Now we can open Blender and get started with putting it into our file. I'm just gonna set up a clean little surface that I can use to show off our fancy brush. Doing some subdivisions, add a cast modifier, apply, set this to one, and then apply. And now we have a good base to work from. What we're going to do is first, we have to unwrap this model. When you're doing texture painting, you always want to make sure to unwrap your model. I just hit tab to go into edit mode, and then I hit U to unwrap. I'm going to use Smart UV Project. This will work for most of the things that you're unwrapping, but for different applications, you might want to use one of these different options. I'm just gonna keep with the default settings, and now we can get into texture painting. I'm gonna go over to the texture paint menu. You're gonna notice that I can't really paint onto this right now. So even though I have a color selected, I have my default texture paint brush on, we're in texture paint mode, I can't draw onto this even if I'm trying. And that's because the textures are missing. So in order for Blender to draw onto an image, first you have to give it an image to draw onto. So if I want to draw onto something, I have to first create texture. The way that I'm going to do this is by right next to this text that says no textures, I'm gonna hit this plus icon. I'm gonna select the base color option and this should provide our base color which we can start drawing on. I'm gonna to go to material preview mode and now you can see that I can start drawing onto this texture. But the brush that we currently have is not the brush that we want to use. We want to use our custom brush. So how do we import that? The way that we do that is by going into the menu that we're already in, our active tool properties, and we're going to scroll down to this drop down that says texture. Once we hit that, we can hit this button that says new. And next, all we have to do is go down to our texture properties menu, and now we can start adding our textures in. You can get there by either hitting this double bars icon right here, or you can hit the checkered icon down here. What you're going to do is hit the button that says open so you can find your file and import it. There we go. But you're not entirely done yet because you'll notice that if you start drawing onto here, it's going to lay out your texture in tiles. That's not what you want. Typically, you want it to follow the path of your brush, sort of like you were painting it on. The way that you adjust that is by adjusting your mapping settings, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We have to go back to our Active Tool Properties menu at the top, scroll down to Textures once again, and right now you can see our mapping is set to Tile. What we want to do is set mapping to View Plane. What that does is make it so our mapping for our brush will follow the direction that we're looking. So you can see it's a bit stretched out on the side. So that's a good start, but we're not entirely done yet. What if you want to change the spacing on this brush so you can see more of the detail? Well, you're gonna have to go to your stroke drop-down menu, which is a bit further down. 
you can adjust the spacing right here. So you can change it from 20% to 36%. And now you're going to see that you can get more of that detail coming out. But you'll also notice that it's a repeating pattern. You're probably not going to want that because it's just going to make things look a bit strange, at least in my opinion. It'll make it look more artificial. What we can do is change our rotation so it's random. So we go back up to our mapping settings and right under this angle thing right here, we hit random. So now our angle will be random and we won't have to worry about it being repetitive. That's pretty much all you have to know how to set up a basic textured stylized brush inside of Blender. There are a bunch of other options that you should explore, but that's all I'm gonna cover in this tutorial because I wanna keep it short and sweet. I hope you found some use in it and I hope you subscribe to see what I put out next. Thank you for your support. Bye.